everyone, and welcome to your total body bar class. All you need today is a light set of weights. I've got two pounds. You grab whatever you feel like you need. We're going to do lots of reps, so lighter weights are going to work for that. And then all you need is a chair or a countertop or something that you can use in lieu of a bar. Most of this is going to be um, barless bar where we're just doing things standing up, but every once in a while you might want something to hold on to. So grab the chair and let's get right into it. We're gonna start by warming up with some marches. So you're gonna bring opposite arm, opposite leg up. And we try to kind of start to connect our breath a little bit, inhaling each time we lift the arms up. We're gonna go for four, three, two, and one. Now take it into goal post arms and drive your knee all the way up to opposite elbow. So it's a torso rotation here. So we're starting to activate the core, twist side, side, side. Last four, three, two, and on one, feet together, thighs together, everything together. Take a big deep breath, inhale. Exhale, take your hands to your chest. We're gonna sink it down low into a chair squat. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up. Exhale, sink the hips back. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. Go for four more. Exhale, down three. And down two. Down last time, we're gonna hold it down right here. Just add a little pulse at the bottom. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, we're gonna inhale, raise the arms all the way up, maybe take a little mini back bend. And then exhale, arms out to a T as we slowly fold all the way down. Nice, try to bend in the knees so you can get the palms of the hands all the way on the mat. And we're gonna step it back to a nice downward facing dog. Just gonna stretch it out a little bit before we move on, so just pedal out the heels a little bit, shake the hips, shake the head, start to come into your body. All right, now just three times, you're gonna roll forwards into a plank on an inhale, and exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. Here we go, inhale, forwards plank. Exhale, take it, take it all the way back. Inhale, roll it forwards. Exhale, take it back. This time we're gonna inhale, hold it into that plank. Shoulders right over wrist, press your energy up and up from away from the mat. And we're just gonna start to pedal the knees a little bit. Pedal left and right. Now you just want the knees to be moving. You wanna to try to keep no movement in the hips. Six, five, four, three, two. And on one back to regular plank, just lift your right foot up about three inches. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze the knee in towards your nose. Hold it here. Three, two. And on one, step your foot all the way up in between your hands. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, raise the arms all the way up. Nice low lunge. Try to lean forwards into your hips. And let your heart shine all the way up towards the ceiling. Inhale in. And then exhale, placing the hands all the way back down to frame the foot. Let's step it all the way back to our downward facing dog. Pedal out those heels once again. And then we're going to take those planks. Once again, we inhale forwards into plank. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Inhale, roll it forwards. Exhale, press back. Last time, inhale forwards into plank. You hold it, shoulders right over wrist. Start to pedal out those knees. Left and right. Awesome. Last six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold the plank, here we go. Press back through the heels, lift your left foot up about three inches. Inhale in, exhale, squeeze the knee all the way in towards the chest now. Nice rounded spine. And then stepping your left foot all the way up in between the hands. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up. Coming into that nice low lunge. And exhale, place the hands all the way back down. Last time, we're gonna step back to a downward facing dog. Now from here, we're transitioning into a 
wide stance plie. So you want to step right foot out nice and wide, left foot out nice and wide, and then rise all the way up, kind of adjust your feet to open up as much as you need. All right, so heels are in, toes are out. We're in a nice wide stance. Now, as we exhale, we're gonna sink down nice and low into that squat and raise the arms up and then inhale, come up. So here we go, big deep inhale in. Exhale, sink it down, arms come up. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, inhale, got my hip to crack back up, good. Now remember, weight is mostly back in the heels here, and you want a nice flat back as you sink down and up. Ooh, my, my right hip's really quickened today. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, we hold it down. Raise the arms up nice and tall, shoulders down away from the ears. Sink it down. 16 little pulses. Pulse it down, down, down down. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, you're going to hold it down. Now bring the arms out in front of you. Open the arms out nice and wide. Big deep inhale. Exhale, right foot is going to step into the left first position. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, right foot in. Inhale, step it out. Exhale, step it in. Sorry, inhale, step it in. Exhale, step it out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it here. Raise the arms up. Now flip the palms up. Try to get the heels all the way to touch. On your inhale, we're going to raise the heels up. And then exhale, heels come down. Bend your elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, heels up, arms up. Exhale, elbows down, squeeze. Heels up, arms up, inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last three. Last two. Last one. Good, now inhale, hold it up. Take your hands to heart center. Try to get the heels to touch. So your heels are up, bring the heels together. We're in a first position. If you need to hold on to your chair for balance, you can hold on to the chair for balance. Otherwise, we're gonna sink straight down about six inches. So try to keep a nice flat back. And then inhale, rising all the way up, but try not to straighten your knees all the way. So we're gonna do that eight times. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Inhale. Now maybe as you keep going, you're able to straighten the knees a little bit less at the top each time you come up. Last three. Last two. All right, last one, we're gonna hold it down. Now add a little pulse right here. Pulse it 16 times. Try down. Down. Each time you pulse it down, try to get down a little bit lower. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, drop the heels down. Legs come all the way back up. Now, keeping the positioning in the legs, point your right toes straight out in front of you. You can take your hands on your hips here. Point the toes. Slight, slight turn out on the right foot. Little bend in the knee. Lift the leg up. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Awesome. Now, if you want more of a challenge, you can raise the arms all the way up. We'll go for four, three, Two. All right, now on our last one, hold it up. Now this time you're gonna flex the foot. You're gonna turn your right toes out to the right side and then inhale, bring it back up straight. Exhale, turn it out. Inhale up. Exhale, turn. Inhale up. So when we turn it out to the side, we're hitting deeper into the inner thighs. 
We're gonna go for three, two, last one, hold it out. Now 16 little pulses right here, lift it. Up, 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 whoo. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, carefully drop the leg all the way down, and we're gonna open it all the way back out to our wide stance plie. So, here we go, nice big inhale. Exhale, we sink it down low in that plie. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. Exhale. So we're repeating that whole thing over again, but this time, once we step, it's gonna be that left foot that's gonna come up to the right. All right, last three before we pulse it down. Last two. All right, here we go. Last one, hold it down right here. Let's take it 16 times down. Maybe you're able to get down a little bit lower than last time. All right, last eight, seven, try not to grip in the toes. Five, four, three, two, and on one, hold it down here. Now arms are gonna come out in front of you. As you inhale, step the left foot in to meet the right. Exhale, open the arms out, step back into that plie. Inhale, step in, left foot to right. Exhale, step back, open. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, exhale out. Last three. Last two. Last one, we hold it in. Arms rise all the way up, palms are face out in front of you. All right, raise the heels all the way up. Exhale, heels down, elbows down, squeeze the blades. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last three. Two. And one. All right, hands come to heart center. Keep the heels lifted up. Try to bring the heels all the way together. Nice flat back the whole time. Here we go, exhale, sink down nice and low. Inhale, rise up, try not to straighten the legs too much. Exhale, back down. Inhale up. Try to keep the chest up, nice and tall. Shoulders back so everything's nice and open in your front body. Keeping the heels touching. Last four, then we pulse for 16. Last three. And two. Last one, here we go, we hold it down. 16 little pulses right here. Whew. All right. Hope you're getting shaky. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, bring the legs all the way down. This time we're gonna point left toes out in front of us. You can keep the hands at heart center to start. Point the toes, little bend in the knees, slight turn out, here we go. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, tap down. Inhale, rise, exhale, tap. Inhale, exhale. You can raise the arms up to make it a little bit more challenging if you'd like, but make sure that you're still standing up nice and tall. Last four, three, two. All right, now on our last one, we're gonna hold up, flex the foot, here we go. It's out and up, out and up, out and up. Good, four, three, two, and on one, we hold that turn out. Little lifts now, little lift. Up, 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 up. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on one, bring it all the way down. Guess what? We're coming back into first position. Heels together, toes out. Slight turn out. Lift the heels all the way up. Connect the heels together. Sink all the way down. As low down as you can, halfway. Keep the hands on heart center. We're gonna do what I like to call the Shakir, it's my fave. We move the hips, it's side, 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 
side. So again, if you want to hold on to a chair so you can get down a little bit lower and move your hips, or if you want the challenge to stay here, let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, rise all the way up. That one's a good one to have some fun with. All right, so here we go. Top of the mat once again. We're going to make our way down for some plank and push-up work. Yay. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, we fold all the way down. So when you step back in a plank, just make sure your hands are wider than shoulder width distance apart. Step back into a plank position. Now what we're going to do is called a rocket launcher push-up, or at least I called it that. So you're going to sink your heels, uh, excuse me, sink your tush all the way back towards your heels, and then propel forwards and take your push-up. And then take it back to the heel, uh, yeah, to the heels. Come forward, and if you need to, you can always drop the knees down to take that push up. So, exhale forwards, inhale push up, exhale back, inhale forwards, exhale back, inhale forwards. Now, if you're dropping the knees on that push up, make sure you lift the knees back up when you come back into that rocket launcher. Let's go three more, and then we're just gonna do some basic push-ups. All right, last one, here we go. Hold it here, let's just do 10 regular push-ups. Inhaling down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling all the way down. Exhale, pressing up. Here we go. Last four. Three. Two. Now on one, take it all the way up. Come back into your plank position. Now open the feet a little bit wider than hips width distance apart. We're going to come into some plank rollovers. So rolling all the way onto the right sides of your toes. And lifting the right arm all the way up and then coming onto the right hand shifting onto the left side of your feet and opening up the left arm so we're going to do a few of those twisting over to one side and then twisting over to the other so we're going to do three more on each side and then each side we're going to hold into a side plank and do little hip lifts two more on each side you can take it nice and slow and controlled there's no rush. All right, so next time we're on the right side, let's hold it here. So you can stack your top leg over your bottom if you'd like, or you can cross the top leg over your bottom leg to modify. So here we go, let's take some hip lifts, little lifts of the hips, up, 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 five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's shift it all the way over to the other side. Again, top leg can stay stacked or you can bring it across the top leg. Here we go, little lifts. Up, up, up. You got five, four, three, two, and one, good, let's take it all the way back into a plank position. Guess what, we're gonna drop it right down into forearm plank, try not to drop down to the knees. Press back through the heels, core engaged. Now time to drop both knees down and lift. Both knees down and lift. Eight more, seven, inhale tap, exhale up, inhale, Exhale, four more, three, two, and on one, we're just gonna hold it, 10 seconds, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, you can release all the way back to a child's pose. <sighs> that was a little bit of a monster plank series. All right, we're gonna move our way into a table 
tabletop position. And we're gonna do some glute work in this tabletop position before we go ahead and do some weight work. So we're gonna use first left leg to stabilize us. We're gonna be moving with the right leg. So I want you to extend the right leg all the way back. Nice pointed toes. Make sure your core is nice and engaged, so draw the belly in and up. All we're gonna do is little toe taps. Drop the right toes down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Again, try to reduce any arches in your low back. Squeezing the left glutes. That's what's working now. Three more. Two. And then on our last one, we hold it up, take a little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on one we hold, we're gonna do probably my favorite glute exercise ever. It's rainbow taps. Tap your toes over to the left side, then lift it all the way up and over, create a nice rainbow. Then tap all the way over to the right. Up and over left, up and over right. So that was two. We're gonna go up to eight. So over to the left, and then over to the right is one full rep. So now we're at three. All right, we're halfway through. We got four more to go. Try not to let that rainbow get droopy. Keep lifting up as much as you can. Only two more to go. Last one here. All right, we're gonna finish it off by bringing the legs straight back behind you. Now this time we're gonna flex the foot. Try to keep your thigh lifted up as high as you can. Now start to bend your heel into your tush. Extend it all the way out. Bend it in, extend it all the way out. Bend in and out. Bend in and out. Last five, four, Three, two. Now on your last one, you're gonna hold it in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross your right knee over to the left side and then lift it all the way straight back up. Bring it over to the left and then lift it all the way straight back up. Now try to keep the right heel glued to your tush. Last four. Last three. Last two. Awesome, headed into our last one. Let's hold it up, heel in, little pulses. Keep that foot flexed. Keep trying to lift it up as high as you can. Left glutes burning. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on one, we take it all the way back. Whew. All right, shake the wrist out if they need it. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side before we shift gears and move back into some upper body work. So here we go. Back into that tabletop position. Let's do it. Right leg's gonna stabilize, right leg is gonna burn. We're gonna send our left leg all the way straight back. Make sure our core is engaged. Draw the belly in and up. Here we go. Tap it, down and up. Down and up. Make sure your right hip's not shifting over too much to the side. You're nice and squared. We have perfect alignment. All right, let's go for four, three, two. All right, last time we hold it up for a pulse. Little lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on one, we hold it here. Now we're gonna go for those rainbows. So bring it over to the right side first. Lift it all the way up and over, take it to the left. That's one total out of eight. Once again, we wanna keep that rainbow nice and large. The higher we make those rainbow lifts, the more we're lifting the tushy. And I think that's part of the reason why we came here today, came onto the mat. All right, we're halfway through. Last three. Last two. Coming into our final rep. All right, now here we go. Stretch the 
leg straight back behind you. Flex the foot, lift your left thigh up a little bit higher. Now here we go, bend that heel in, extend all the way out. Bend in, extend out. Make sure that core stays tight. You don't want any pressure on the low back. This is all glutes. Let's go for three, two, all right, last one. Heel stays in. Let's take the knee over to the right side. Keep the heel glued in towards the tush as you lift it straight up. Take it over to the right. Lift it straight back up. Last six. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. You've got four more. Three. Two. Final one. Let's hold it up for pulse now. Keep lifting it up as high as you can. Heel stays glued, heel stays glued. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Take it all the way back. Shake the wrists out if they need. And let's transition ourselves all the way back up to stand. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water, and then we're all gonna grab those light set of weights. All right, so one light weight in each hand. We're gonna start with a little combo, adding legs and arms into it. So all we're gonna do is nice little squat down, and then inhale, raise up to a nice lateral raise. So exhale, drop it down, sink down low. Inhale, rise it back up nice and slow and controlled. No need to rush. I know it doesn't feel like anything yet, but believe me, it will. Good, so exhaling down, inhaling up. Last three. Two. All right, last one, let's hold it up here. Little pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on your last one, you're gonna bring the weights all the way in together, not together together, but about shoulder distance apart. And we're gonna take a little pulse right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one take the weights down bring them right back up so no rest and take it down exhale inhale pick it right back up exhale down inhale rise just bringing it up to shoulder height that's it all right four more and then we're going to hold it up and shuffle you got two more Last one, we hold it up, now shuffle. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, roll the weights. Back and out. It's back and out. 90 degree angle, squeezing the blades together as you come back. Last four. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend, two more. Last one, now hold it here, nice 90 degree angle. All you're gonna do is lift the arms up and then drop the palms down. Palms out and down. It's up and down. Nice cuff strengthener here. Four more. Three, two. Okay, last one, now we're gonna hold it up here. You're gonna bring the elbows back a few inches and just do little squeezes. So again, you're trying to bring the shoulder blades together. It's squeeze, 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 squeeze. Four, three, two, and on one. Center back out, we're gonna come into overhead raises. So press the weights up, exhale right back down to shoulder height. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Nice and slow, controlled. It should be burning now. Just three more to go. Two more. OK, 
Okay, coming into our final one, we're gonna hold it shoulder height, add a little pulse here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, we're gonna slowly take it all the way down, Woo! take it into some triceps. So elbows come all the way in towards the rib cage, little bend in the knees, bending the arm, uh, the hand in towards your chest, and then exhale, extending the back. Sorry, I lost my words for a second. Inhale. Exhale, so you want the elbows to be glued towards your rib cage. Nice bend in the knees. Chest comes forward slightly. Little break from shoulders. Good. Four more to go. Three. Two. All right, so last one, you're going to hold it back. Try to keep the weights back behind you. Add a little pulse back behind your tush. Lift it up. Up, try to keep those weights up as high as you can. For five, four, three, two, and on one, you hold it back, we're gonna clap those weights together. Tap the weights in towards each other. It's in, 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 in. Five, four, three, two. Now last one, hold it back, we're gonna do eight more pulses up. Try to lift the weights up even higher and go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and I'm going to just try to lift the weights up a little bit higher and just hold. Four, three, two, and on one, you're going to slowly bring the weights back out in front of you. We're going to come into some rear delt flies. So palms face in towards you. Inhale, taking the weights all the way up to the side, nice and slow. Exhale, slowly bringing it down. So it's two counts. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, in. Exhale down. So we go slow, so we resist the urge to swing those weights. We want to make sure we use our strength to bring those weights up rather than just swinging them. Then we're not really gaining anything out of it. Last two. All right, last one. Let's hold it up. Little pulses right here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and on one, slowly drop the weights all the way back down. We're gonna come back up to stand. Now this time, palms are gonna be face up. We're gonna do front raises with the palms up. You can take a little bend in the uh, elbows if you need. Inhale up to shoulder height. Exhale down. This is the final thing with arms we're doing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four more to go. And we're gonna hold it up. Do some biceps. Three, two. Okay, last one. Now hold it up here. Here we go. We're gonna bend the wrists in. Exhale, extend out. So fingertips come all the way in towards the shoulders. Inhale, extend it out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, inhale. Now, if this is too much for you, you can always just take the elbows down to your waist once again. Otherwise, you try to keep it lifted. Four more to go. And three, two. Now on your last one, we're gonna take it right and left. So it's right, left, right, left. So the opposite arm that you're pulling in is just holding strong. Four more on each side. Three more, two more. Last one on each. Awesome, slowly drop the weights all the way down. Take the weights down. If you need another quick drink of water, take a quick drink of water. And then we're gonna probably need our chair for this next one, so you can bring the chair over towards you. All right, so. All we're gonna do is start with some basic lunges. So, we're gonna start with left leg stabilizing us. And we're going to take the right leg back behind you so you can hold on to the chair. For this part, I'm not going to hold on to the chair. So hands on chair or hands on hips, hands in prayer or arms all the way up. I'm going to take my hands on the hips. Take a nice big deep inhale. Exhale, sink your right knee down towards the ground. Make sure your left knee is not coming past your toes. And then inhale, coming up. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. We're gonna go for four more, and then we're gonna take it down for a 16 count pulse. Two more to go. All right, last one, we're gonna take it down. So already hover the knee right above the ground and add your pulse right here. Sinking down as low as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, you're gonna lean your chest slightly forward. So I, I'm gonna hold on to the chair now. So what we're gonna do is bend the heel in towards the tush, kind of like what we were doing um, when we were in that tabletop. So toes are pointing, and then extend it all the way straight back out. Inhale, bend the heel in. Exhale, extend it all the way out. Inhale, bend it in. Exhale, extend it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last three. Last two. Now on our last one, we're gonna hold it up here. Now you're gonna start to kind of do like a standing fire hydrant, lifting your right knee out to the side. I'm gonna come up so you can see what I mean. Little lifts, up, up. So you should really start to feel left glute firing up. Lift it, lift it. So keep trying to keep the heel in towards the tush. I noticed myself not doing that. We'll go three, two. Now last one, hold it up, little pulses for 16. Try to keep that knee open as wide as you can. This is great for your hips too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, we're gonna slowly bring right foot up to meet the left. Now you're probably gonna need to hold on to your chair for this. Thighs are touching, feet are touching, everything's touching. We're gonna lift the heels all the way up as high as you can. Nice flat back, like we were doing in that first position. We're gonna sink halfway down, or as low down as you can, and then inhale, rise up, but again, you wanna try not to straighten the knees. Exhale, sink down. Inhale up, not all the way though. Exhale, sink down. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. Inhale up. Good. Four more, then we're going to hold it down for a pulse. Three more. Two more. Last one, we're going to hold it down. 16 count pulse. Pulse it. Down, down, down. Can you try to get down? Another inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now try to hold it here. Try to raise your arms up. Maybe you try to lift the heels up even higher. Hold three, two, and one. Drop everything down. Oh, I'm shaking. We're gonna come into lunges now on the left side. So left leg's back. Right leg's gonna stabilize us. Hands wherever you'd like, chair, hips, prayer, wherever. Okay, so here we go. Let's sink that left knee. Exhaling down, inhale, rise. Exhale, inhale. Four more to go. Let me hold it down for that pulse. It's like routine now, now you know. It's always 16 pulses. <laughs> so here we go with them. Hold it down, pulse it out for 16. Drop it down as low as you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, slightly forwards, hold on to the chair. Straight left leg back behind you, point the toes. Exhale, bend the heel in towards your tush. Inhale, extend it out. Sorry, inhale, bring it in, exhale, extend it out. I always screw up the breath, so I'm sorry. My lefts and rights, my inhales and my exhales. Probably two of the easiest things, breathing and left and right. Somehow I always get them screwed up. All right, three more. 
two, and on one, we're gonna hold it in, heel stays in. Now, left knee is gonna come out to the side, out to the side. It's like a little fire hydrant. Four more to go, then you know what's coming. 16 pulses out. Two, and on one, hold it out. 16 pulses, keep that leg lifted up as high as you can. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, bring it all the way in. Left foot meets the right, everything's connected nice and together as we stand up tall. Lift those heels up. You know what to do here. Nice parallel lines. Here we go. Sink it. Down on your exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Remember, don't strain the knees too much. Good. Four more. Challenge yourself. Lessen the range of motion. Last two. Okay, on our last one, let's hold it down here. 16 little pulses up. Try to raise the heels up even more. You'll get your legs to quiver. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it down. Raise the arms up, hold. Five, four, three, two. And on one, let it go. Woo! Shake it out. That last parallel line down. That really gets you shaking. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back down onto the mat. We're gonna finish up with some core work and some bridge work, and then we're gonna stretch, and then we're gonna be done. Then we put up all body parts. So come on down onto your mat. Legs are out in front of you, bent. Heels are down, toes are up. Sitting up nice and tall, take the hands behind your uh, thighs, Open out the elbows nice and wide, space in between the chin and the chest. Gaze is slightly up. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine, start to curl our body down. And then inhale, rising all the way back up. Exhale, round the spine, try to come down. If you can come all the way down to your low back, awesome. If not, that's okay. Just go down to where you can, these are super challenging. Probably the hardest bar exercise to master is the curl. I don't think anyone's a master of the curl. Good, inhaling up. So try to keep your heels connected to the mat the whole time. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna hold it down on this next one. So here we go, hold it down. Again, draw your belly in and up. Really, if you can, press the low back down into the ground. All right, we're gonna start to curl a little bit here. So small range of motion. Little crunches, crunch up and up and up. So keep that core engagement the whole time. For five, four, three, two, and on one, just hold it here, extend one arm out, extend other arm out, try to sink down another inch, just pump the arms. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and on one, just hold it right out in front of you. Now bring your palms in together so you're in prayer position. You're still down as low as you can. Inhale, exhale, turn your torso over to the right side. Inhale, come all the way back up to center. Seven more times, we're gonna do that. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center. Four more to go. Staying down as low as you can. Three more. Two more. Last one, we're gonna hold it over. Now we're gonna do those little crunches over to the right side. Little curls. Curl, curl. Four, three, two. And on one, hold it here. Try to come down another inch. And then maybe raise the arms up. You're still twisted over to the right side. For four, three, two, and on one, you come all the way back to center. Hands come back behind the thighs. Inhale, come all the way up. Little breather. 
Exhale, we're coming right back down into those curls. So come all the way down. Draw your belly in and up. Here we go, little crunches. Crunching to the center first. So repeating right from the beginning, little curls. Five, four, three, two. And on one side, hold it down, extend one arm out. Extend the other arm out, add your pump for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one more, hold it, palms in together. Eight times, we exhale to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Torso rotation, like we did in the beginning of class. Three more. Two. All right, last time we're gonna hold it over. Little crunches. Maybe you drop down another inch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one we hold it here. Try to raise the arms all the way up, sink down another inch for five, four, three, two, and on one we come all the way back to center. Hands underneath the thighs. Inhale, roll it up. Now this time nice and slow. Arms are gonna come down, we're gonna exhale, slowly roll our body all the way down. And bend the heels to come all the way in towards the tush. We're going to finish up with that glute work. So, bridge work. So, here we go. Heels in. Palms face down. Here we go. Dig into the heels. Lift your hips all the way up. Imagine like you're squeezing the block in between your thighs. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Exhale, tuck it down. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale down. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four more to go. Three, two. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold it up. Little pulses right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on one, hold it up. Here we go, right leg's gonna come all the way up. Lift that right leg straight up, point the toes. Now we're gonna go for eight full bridges. Down and up. So same thing we just did, but this time it's just a little bit tougher on our left leg that has to support us. Four more. Three, two. Last one, hold it up. Eight little pulses. Eight, seven, Six, don't grip in the left toes. Four, three, two, and on one, hold the hips up. Right foot comes down, left leg lifts straight up. Eight times, we know what to do. It's down and up. All right, now we're challenging the right side of the glutes. Nice pointed left toes. You've got four, three, two, all right, last one, hold it up, eight pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold the hips up, left foot comes back down. Walk your feet a little bit closer towards your glutes, lift your heels up, drop your heels down, lift them up and down, up, down, up, down, five, four, three, two, heels up, 16 pulses, lift the hips, up, 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 Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, we slowly release it all the way down. Amazing work. Hug the knees all the way in towards the chest. Rock your body from side to side. You deserve this nice stretch after all that work. Hug your right knee all the way in towards the chest. Grab underneath the right thigh and stretch your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Point and flex your foot. Notice how that changes the stretch in the back of the legs, the calf muscles. Walking your hands up the leg, draw your forehead up towards your knee. Nice big deep inhale. Exhale, hug the knee back in towards the chest and take it across the body into a spinal twist. Try to press your right shoulder blade firmly into the ground as you try to twist your right knee over in opposition. 
and then inhale, hug it all the way back in. One more time, nice big squeeze. And then slowly release, let's take the left knee in towards the chest. Grab underneath the thigh, stretch your leg up towards the ceiling and point and flex your foot. Walk your hands up the leg, draw your forehead up towards the knee. And then hug the knee back in towards the chest, reaching back across the body in a spinal twist on the other side. Good, really press the left shoulder blade firmly down into the mat. Let's hug the left knee back in towards the chest, big, big squeeze. And take the right knee in to meet it. We're gonna rock ourselves up into a nice wide-legged fold. So open the legs out nice and wide. Let's just start by taking the right hand onto the right leg and inhale, left arm all the way up. You're really just trying to lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And then exhale, drop your chest down onto the right thigh. Kind of come deeper into your stretch. And then inhale, sliding up. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. Left hand down on the left leg. Right arm comes all the way up above the ear. Try to raise your chest up towards the ceiling. Heart up towards the sky. Inhale. And then exhale. Draw your chest down towards the left thigh. And sink down into your stretch. Good, inhale, slowly roll up. One final stretch, let's inhale the arms all the way up. Big, big stretch. And then exhale, hinge from your hips to start to fold all the way into the center. You can rock your body out side to side, point or flex the foot, the feet, whichever feels better for you. Just coming to meet your peaceful, most appropriate edge. Enjoying this last final stretch. Good, and then sliding the hands all the way back. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this Total Body Bar class. I hope you've enjoyed and have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video.